Good morning. If you've clicked on this video, then you are curious about starting a morning routine that works for you. Maybe you're a night owl like I once was, and you're really curious to learn how to become that morning person that you know you need to be to be successful. Because we've all heard our parents say that the morning is the most important time of the day and you should have a well-balanced meal. If you have a good morning, then you set your day for success. Stick around because in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to turn from a night owl to a morning person and the importance of a morning routine and why you should start yours today. Cheers. Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm your host, Jen Marilla, and I have helped over hundreds of entrepreneurs build online businesses and brands online. Today, you're in good hands because we're gonna be talking about why it's important to have a morning routine. Now, I've been an entrepreneur for over five years, and I wanna start off by talking about the fact that I used to be a night owl. Like, I was the kind of person that was hustling, 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 and working until three, four in the morning, then going to sleep and waking up at like 10 or 11, and probably lying, maybe like 11 possibly 12 because of how late I was going to sleep. And although I was getting work done, I really wasn't seeing progress and I really wasn't seeing anything move or change in my business. I actually felt like I was burning out quicker than I needed to. So today we're gonna talk about two things. We're gonna talk about how to switch from a night owl to a morning person. And we're gonna talk about the benefits of starting a morning routine and what you can create for yourself. I'm gonna share some tips about my morning routine and how I really use my mornings to get creative and do the most important tasks. They say that an effective morning creates an effective day. And I have to say that that's probably right. So how do we turn from a night owl to a morning person? Easy, you start going to bed early. <laughs> I know that's probably really hard for some of you because I've totally been there. But I find that the sooner I just shifted that perspective and started getting into bed at like 9.30, 10 o'clock, it was a game changer for me. So technically my morning routine starts at night. And what I mean is I actually started to train myself to get into bed every single night at a certain time, anywhere between 9.30 and 10 o'clock. And that way between 10 and 10.30, I'm falling asleep. That means that all electronics and everything is off an hour before bed, which means I try not to pick up my phone. I try not to look at the TV. I try to pick up a book. I try not to look at my iPad. Just try to be present and read something and just relax. And maybe I do a short meditation before I get into bed. Really helps me knock out right away. So if I'm in bed by 10 and I'm knocked out by 10, 15, 10, 30, trust me guys, the more you do this, the easier it gets. Another thing I want to mention is that I don't just wake up and start my day. The night before I prepare my day. And what I mean is I sit down with my my planner and I write out all my to-dos, everything that's on my calendar, and I know what is to expect it and what time I'm supposed to get up because maybe I have coaching calls or maybe I have Facebook Lives or whatever is coming through for that day. I've already taken a look and outlined what my day is going to look like. Now, if you need help figuring out how to outline your day, check out this video here on the top corner where I talk about how to create a schedule for an entrepreneur. It's really helpful. Now, you've set your day, you know what your day is gonna look like, and then you've scheduled your alarm, and now you're going to bed between 9.30 and 10, and you're asleep by 10, 15. You're like, okay, great, what time do I need to wake up? Well, this is the thing that I think is really important. Putting an outline structure on your morning routine is probably not going to work. And what I mean is a lot of the times I don't put a set timing in my morning because my morning is my most creative. I have things I wanna do. For example, I wanna eat breakfast, I wanna do yoga, or maybe go for a run. I wanna journal and I wanna meditate. But what I like to do is the moment I wake up, the first thing I personally like to do is meditate. Now guys, I'm saying I personally because I think it's so important that I wanna make clear that what might work for me might not work for you. And the reason I say that is because we put so much pressure on ourselves as entrepreneurs that if we don't start the day effectively, then the rest of the day is gonna be ruined. And that's not 100% true. I don't wanna put that much pressure on you guys. What I want you to do is utilize some of these tools that I'm gonna share with you today to build out your own morning routine and what works for you, right? Because at the end of the day, the goal is to have an effective day. That is the most important thing. And these are obviously tools that have helped me from the years of being an entrepreneur and working for myself. So I wake up around six or seven every morning and I try, and this is a big no-no for me. And something that has been so hard for me to learn is not grab my phone. I really try not to grab my phone is the first thing I do because then I'm taking away from that grogginess, creative you know, feeling that I have in the morning that really allows me to like come up with these crazy, really good ideas that I have as an entrepreneur. So typically what I'll do is I'll wake up 
and I will head straight into a meditation. Like I will sit up and meditate for anywhere between 15 to 20 minutes. Yes, that is a really long time, but I've been doing it for a very long time. So I'm so used to this. Now that means that maybe for you, it's only going to look like five minutes or 10 minutes or three minutes, but I highly recommend meditation. Meditation for me has been an absolute game changer, not only to really get my creative juices flowing, but also to just ground myself, not have a stressful day. Meditation has really allowed me to be able to control more of my stress. From there, what I'll do is I'll journal. Simply 15 to 20 minutes, just journal. And I can journal on several things. I journal on what my day is gonna look like, what I'm feeling, what I'm thinking about. Maybe it's not 15 minutes, maybe it's 10 minutes, it doesn't matter but I definitely write down my thoughts and anything that came up during meditation just to release that. Followed by meditation, I usually do a workout. Maybe it's yoga, maybe it's running, and maybe it's just a really good stretch. Whatever the case is, I definitely try to move my body in the morning. And after that, I go ahead and start my day. I will have breakfast, I will get dressed, and I will kickstart my day. I do recommend that you have a goal of how long you want your morning routine to be. So typically, even if I wake up at six, my morning routine is from seven to nine. That means that at 9 a.m. I am sitting at my desk and I am working, I'm checking emails, I'm reaching out to my team, I'm on YouTube, I'm on Facebook, I'm on Instagram, on all the places. But my goal is to start that by nine o'clock. So that means that between six to nine or seven to nine, I am focused on me. Now, the reason why this is so important, as entrepreneurs, we are constantly moving. And a lot of the times we don't get that alone time to really sit with ourselves. And again, you guys, I have been working on this morning routine for five years and I've built this discipline and this morning routine for myself and it's really helped me have more effective days. So my recommendation to you again is that you find something that works for you based on these suggestions, but a morning routine does help set my day up for success. Another thing that I find really helpful is if I don't have everything completely outlined, for example, if I'm putting 7.30 yoga, 7.45 breathing exercise, like that's not what I do at all. What I typically do is just make a list of the things I want to get done in the morning. And then I cross that off right before I sit at my desk to start my work at nine o'clock. And it feels really good to have X amount of things done already, knowing that I have a long, busy day. So again, if you really want to check out how to plan your day like an entrepreneur, check out this video right here where I walk you through my weekly strategy and how I outline my week as an entrepreneur. Again, I find this super helpful. And this is what's helped me really take my business to the next level and just keep myself accountable and more disciplined, like setting up my days beforehand. So what I mean is like the night before, as I mentioned earlier, really sitting down and planning what my day looks like, what my deliverables are, just scurrying that away has really been an absolute game changer. And if you really enjoyed this video and you want more of my help and support for as an entrepreneur, check out my free community on Facebook called the Passionate and Purposeful Entrepreneurs with over 300 business members in this group. This Facebook community is for you if you are trying to build your online business and or you already have one but you don't see the results you want to get.